everyone in my previous video we have learned to create aws account that comes with root user which is not advisable to use so in this video we are going to create im user with administrative access and the same user can be used for all the aws activities so friends let's start creating aws im user so you can see this is my video where we have learned how to create aws account so i will tell you if you are new to the aws here so you can create the aws account first and once you will get the u to user then you can then you can log in with the u to user that is your email id obviously and once you will log in with your with your u to user then you can create the im user and then you should not use your root user because root user is just like a super user and uh, I means it is not as advisable to use uh, root user and in the industry no one using root user if you are joining aws project so admin team will create new user that is iam user for you and they will assign appropriate role to you and it will give to you okay so without wasting time let's create iam user so i have already logged into aws account this is my aws account i have lo logged in with uh, root user now i will go to iam this is access identity and access management okay and here we have to create user so let's suppose that i will go to here this is the user already i have created two user let me create one more user i will tell this test or admin i'll just give admin okay username is admin or admin 1 okay provide user access to the aws console okay i will give the aws console access as well this is by a user in identity center recommended but i want to create an iam user okay so i will just select this one iam user and this will be simple option if you are going to create generate auto generated password so it will give auto generated password and if i want to give custom password i can give some password here just by to it and say it so that's fine so i will just use auto generated password and uh, okay and also i will check this one user must create a new password at the sign in okay whenever user will be created whenever i will share the use, create the user so uh, once the user will log in they have to recreate their password okay so let me do next and you guys able to see here the three option add to the group copy permission and attach policy that directly so whenever you are using creating user you must have to attach some policy so that they can access the different services of the aws so there is three way to create user once you create you can attach the attach to the group so if you have already group created group so why what is the use of group is let's suppose that there are already three type of user developer admin or tester and tester has the sub different role policy developer having the different policy and uh, admin will have different policy okay so you just want to blindly go and add to the because one 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 user has came and they want to join your team as developer so you can you have the developer group and you can add them here and if one user is already there you can copy permission from that user and assign to the newly created user that you are going to create but here we are i will go, i will tell you all this those this option but now we are going to create user with attach policy directly so i will create user that will have all the permission this is just admin user so i will add here administrator okay just search for admin okay you can see here administrator role so we'll click this administrator access and we'll do to next okay so you can see there are two policy as attached one is administrator policy that we have attached and one is iam user change password this is also pa policy attached whenever we are uh, the, we have checked one option correct so that and check option is whenever we have to log in first time they need to change the password so this is for that so two policy we have attached here and then we will create the user 
so this user has been created i will download this one or i can see this is also there you can i can see the password here okay copy password or i can just show you password here so now better option to i will download this one okay now what i will do i will just log log out from here or uh, i will open open one more incognito window and uh, here uh, let me down to see this is my username password so this is the url this url we can customize so this is this url consists of account name and then sign in url and console so we will go to here and so you can see this is my im user whatever my im user name and user name is admin1 and password is this so i'll copy this password admin1 and this is the password okay next so as soon as i will log in here they will ask me to change the password because of the change password policy has been attached with this so old password is i already copied new password i will just keep you have to keep password in uh, one there is some defined way protocol that you have to follow uh, that is already defined uh, by the admin uh, mean the, your admin can be defined that protocol means uh, what should be the strength of the password how many characters should be small and how many characters should be capital and what is what a special character is is uh, is uh, available to use so that and all uh, admin will take care but uh, in general you you can keep your password more strength so that a hacker cannot hack means that in, you should not use like password 123 or password uh, something like that you or you should not use admin as your username same as a password so what i usually do is i will keep one one capital letter one small letter and some digit and and some special character so you you can also follow the same yeah okay let me confirm here we go so you can see this is the way you can log in here so this is my account id this is my username i will change the reason I'll change to. I'm working on US East region. Okay, that's all. So here I have administrator access. So, so I'm here. I'm the admin. So I can go to any services that I want to go. Let me go to the S3. Okay, I have the full access of S3. I have the full access of everything. That's all for this video. So I I can go to the even in IAM and I can see. i can able to create the user also because this is admin this is having the full access so if you go to the user this is my user admin one and this is having to policy attached and we'll go to the security credential you can see here there is an option called mfa so in our next video we are going to learn how to attach mfa how to assign mfa so thanks thanks for watching and as you people already know this is my aws channel you can subscribe it for more video i have a good playlist here if you see here i have aws playlist and also having some lead code problem some installation series api spark cell hadoop python so and also apache airflow so you can as i will learn anything i will keep putting my video here whenever i'm getting time so it's good to subscribe my my channel and keep learning and keep growing thank you very much